Thank you so much, Ms. Behrens. I'll treasure all those years as well. <laughs> Um, so, first of all, thank you so much to everybody who's gotten me here, my teachers, especially Ms. Behrens, um, my classmates, and as I'll go into it soon, we have a, a fun history. So, <laughs> my classmates and I have spent quite a bit of time together, as has been mentioned in earlier speeches. Um, a lot of us have been together since sixth grade, and most of us, well, all of us have been here since freshman year. So, we've been together for a while. In freshman year, we did things like create giant spears out of duct tape and newspaper to imitate the spears from the Aeneid. And I will mention that the team that won for structural integrity <laughs> and length was the girls, but <laughs> we'll move on. We read the Dante's Inferno in the cold darkness of January in sophomore year, and it certainly seemed like a fitting read. <laughs> Junior year, as was mentioned, we went on a physics trip, and I think we did learn more about physics in that day, as Catherine mentioned. The year that we grew closest, I think, is this year. It was as we were realizing that all of us were going to be separated soon after seven long years, that we really realized who we all were and how important we all were and unique. So, as we went our various paths of visiting different colleges and figuring out where we were going and what we were gonna be doing, it was then that I saw the unique traits that I had missed in everyday life. For example, Michael is going to seminary to, to discern the priesthood, Celine is going to UW-Platteville to become a teacher, and Catherine is planning on going to UW-Madison to earn a degree in business. We definitely didn't see the last one coming. <laughs> <laughs> She talks about it a lot. <laughs> At the beginning of our time together, we may have been as far from a united class as you can imagine. We barely decided what movie to dress up as for, for Catholic Schools Week. Our sixth grade year, we actually just went into a general Disney theme because we couldn't come up with something. We would never talk outside of class, and we certainly wouldn't organize any kind of group event. Within the last two years, however, we grew as a class in ways we hadn't ever before. We began to see each other beyond our faults and immaturity. We saw that it was through our differences that we were better as a group. But why did we change? There was never one single moment that changed us from a group of people who didn't want to be together to an actual class. Reflecting back, however, I see that we changed through our discussions in class and our work to get through the classes that challenged us. Our English, history, and religion classes brought out discussions on topics that we often did not agree on. It was often through these discussions that we saw more deeply who each of us was and where we were coming from. Especially as we moved into modernity, the, mo the modern era, which is our fourth cycle, we felt a deeper connection to the content we were learning and our individual beliefs and ideas came out and we challenged each other through those. Contrary to popular culture, we found that we grew closer and formed deeper relationships through our disagreements and newfound agreements. Sometimes it was a discussion on whether Huck Finn changed through the book, The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, or not. Other times it was a debate in religion class about whether a certain war was just. Sometimes it was even a discussion on a current political issue. In our math and science classes, we learned to go to each other for help. They're definitely not easy. I'm sure I wouldn't have been able to make, through this, through, make it through calculus this year without Gus and Michael working with me in study halls on optimization. I think I can speak for our class that it has ultimately been our differences that have brought us together, even though these were the same things that had originally pulled us apart. Now we talk often, even though we aren't in class, we have enjoyed being around each other, and we know that we can rely on each other to have a different perspective and strength to support ourselves in our own weaknesses. As Sarah Dunn mentioned earlier, our weaknesses are there, and so it's good to be able to support ourselves with other people. At the junior-senior dinner this year, which was last Wednesday, I really did enjoy being around my classmates. We ate, laughed, and shared an evening together that would never have happened in the past. This experience has taught me to appreciate people for who they are, instead of feeling the need to stay with people just like me. I now feel comfortable because of this experience to work with others together with them and become friends with them along the way. I hope that we as a class 
can continue to learn from our unique time here, and that all the good and bad moments we now have experienced overcoming, eventually we can find the joy and goodness of what seemed once like a struggle. So thank you, class of 2019, for all the laughs, liveliness, and time we have spent together. I will cherish this unique group forever. Congratulations. <laughs>